Am I missing something? Next Wednesday. Y'all know Gary? <laughs> yeah, we know Gary. They come face to face with the truth. Tell me you got good news for me. It all depends on how you look at it. But nothing can prepare them for a bombshell revelation that could change their lives forever. Damn, this is a lot. I have never wanted to talk about this. Oh, dear God. I cannot do this. I can't do it. Tyler Perry's Sisters. All new episode next Wednesday at 9. Hey my lovies, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing amazing and you guys here with another trailer breakdown. Now I want to apologize to you guys for the videos not coming up for the past two weeks. I had a terrible cold, lost my voice, was all stuffy, I could not record zoning like that. But your girl is back with another banger. You guys know what to do before I dive into the video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell so that you can be notified each time I post a video like comment share tell a friend to come and watch our videos now let's dive right into it now if you watched the episode last week or the last episode we know that the girls are all at dinner danny andy and sabrina they're at dinner with the new guys that they met they're all at dinner and the guy that andy likes or the guy that andy is dating i think his name is jordan these days i'm not so keen on the new guy's name because after the whole robin fiasco i'm not so tuned in on the new guys that are entering the scene absolutely i'm not so tuned in on them but i think his name is jordan so he has another friend come over guess who the friend is no other than gary now he's introduced to andy like andy this is gary gary this is andy and i guess jordan notices the tension and is like have we met um do am i missing something and gary why is gary going to say to andy like have we met have we met before so gary is out here pretending not to know andy somebody he proposed to somebody he was dating while he was married and he's gonna come and see her now and say like have we met if one thing we know gary is going to do is save his own ass that's what gary is going to do but they're questioning the girls and like so you guys know gary and like yeah we're familiar with gary apparently gary's fiance is going to show up and she is supposed to be pregnant um that's what i saw in one of the character descriptions i think her name is penelope and she's going to pop up at the dinner as well. And she is pregnant. She is Gary's fiance. Now, Gary, how are you out here proposing to Andy when you have an entire pregnant fiance? All right. My thought is that it's not his child. And she's prob she was probably pregnant before and they got engaged. Because when did Gary find the time to have a whole fiance that's pregnant like i really want to know when he found the time but if it's one thing tyler perry is going to do is keep gary relevant gary is going to pop up in andy's life whether it's through her friends whether it's um at her workplace trying to get her back gary is definitely going to pop up if it's one thing we're sure of he's going to pop up and he's going to stay in the seasons <laughs> um the next question i have is why is I understand that she's trying to avoid Preston, but why is Danny even at the dinner being all cozy with this Tony guy? I thought you and Preston were official. Why are we still running away from serious conversations and avoiding the person that you're supposedly in a relationship with? Why are we still doing that? I thought we got to a point where like, okay, we're going to try this relationship. If you don't want this man, Danny, let him go. Like you pulling him along, running from... um running from the serious conversations and then going on dates with other guys it's the same thing that you were doing a season ago or two seasons ago and we're back here again and this time you actually made it official with him so why are we still running if you're not interested if he's just not your type and it's just not clicking stop trying to force it and let preston go let him find somebody else like you forcing the relationship and then um hiding him out i don't think that's fair so i think it's time for you to let him go because we've said it so many times for you to give him a chance and you, you really don't want to so at this point let him go the next scene we also see in the trailer is karen so karen and the contractor the contractor comes over to give her a coat and the coat is apparently ridiculous i mean she should have kept that check from that i understand that you were upset but think of it as him doing it 
to support his child because if the mother of the child has a source of income it would be easier on the father right so you should have thought of it like that i understand that you're upset but still take the money you know cash a check do your thing you have a source of income it's easier on the father the father is less worried because there's money rolling in on the mom's side he doesn't have to worry about um the crazy situation that michael is in now because he knows that the mother is stable financially and doesn't have to work crazy hours and will be able to support his child i'm sure that's what he was thinking when he gave you that check like it wasn't any strings attached or anything it was just wanting you to be stable financially so that his child doesn't have to go through anything or want for anything when he's not there I think that's what he was thinking when he gave her that check. Like, do you guys agree that that's what Zach was thinking when he gave Karen that check to fix the salon? Now, speaking of Michael, so Fatima and Zach decides that, listen, we're going to go get him. Because, I mean, sweet baby Michael is storing food in pockets. Like, I've seen that firsthand where kids, they're in so much competition to eat and to get food because there's sometimes it's so many of them or there's so little food so they try to store the food for a later time when they get hungry so that they don't have to stay hungry so michael's situation is crazy so zach and fatima decide that listen we're gonna go get him but when they show up heather is long gone with a baby no I don't understand why Heather is running. Why do you want the money, but you don't want the child to be in his father's life? I mean, girl, you're getting an entirely free babysitter. All right, okay. You don't want the child. You want the money. I understand that if the child is with Zach, he doesn't have to pay child support. But if the child is with Zach, then you can go and make your money. You have more time on your hands to do what you want. And you can still see the child on weekend. I mean, I understand it's tough sometimes when you have a baby and you're a mother. You definitely don't want to part ways with your child. But sometimes you really have to take in consideration the child's feelings and not your own. So if the situation is better with the father, then go ahead and give that child to the father for the time being until you're able to stand on your two feet then you can always come to some decision to have more time with the child but don't deprive a child of anything because of your pride and because of wanting to stand on being a single mother if you see where the situation is better for the child with the other parent go ahead and put that child there Visit that child every weekend, call every day, visit every day if whatever circumstances you have, but don't let that child go through so much hurt and pain all because of pride and wanting to stand on being a great mother or a single mother. Come on, it's, it's time people really stop doing that because there are situations where the child can be so much more beneficial staying with zach it's a free babysitter you have somebody to watch him you can go and build your coins and make your money you don't have to worry so much about about the baby you can call and visit every weekend heather it's not that serious you're going after the money you're going about it so wrong because you're hurting that baby in the process of doing that but heather is on the run we see another scene where um zach and fatima are sitting in the car and fatima is about to tell him something she's like i've, I've never spoken about this before and uh, do you guys think that fatima is about to tell zach about the abortion that she had for um for the, the her ex-boyfriend for ian do you think that's what he's going to tell him or is it probably going to be a childhood story that she's going to share like maybe something that happened in the past when she was a kid it could be one of those situations or she's definitely going to tell him about the abortion. So tell me in the comments guys, tell me in the comments what you think Fatima is about to confess to Zach because she said that she's never talked about it before. Um, I'm not sure if Angela knows about it, probably because it's her best friend, you know you tell your best friend everything but tell me in the comments what do you think that Fatima is about to disclose to Zach in the next episode i can't wait for this episode because i want to see the whole gary situation like danny is not about to let up on him danny is definitely gonna find out what's up and why is he here why is he pretending not to know them and why is he in such a hurry to leave danny is definitely gonna try to find out that but that's it for the video guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel um tell me in the comments what are your thoughts for the next episode what are your predictions and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.